Hi, my name is Bob Kieschel. Thank you for coming to the show. The show um, highlights four painters of you know very different sides, but similar roots. Um, it also highlights you know the UNL art department and all they've done in developing young artists. Um, you know, there's one artist, Lim Pouch, is here somewhere. He lives back there. There, there are a couple of his pieces on third. Uh, Byron Anway is also here. Byron will be having a show in, I think it's the next show, right? Where, where, where are you um, But this show's really centered around kind of the legacy of the University of Nebraska and the art department and a representation of, you know, who's been at the leadership and the results of that over the past seven years. Um, Dan Howard, unfortunately, uh, could not make it tonight. He is having, you know, some health issues. He's 95, still mentally strong, but, um, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's you know, physically um, not as much. Um, now we have Chad Olson and Aaron Holtz and Keith Jacobs Hagen. Now Chad is um, the result of the tutelage of both Aaron Holtz and Keith Jacobs Hagen. I think when Keith came in, you probably were, did Dan bring you in, Keith? Who, who brought you here originally? Bob Spence, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And we have, we have, and Keith, of course, brought us to Aaron. And, you know, Aaron is the current, you know, kind of student influencer. And I mean, all three of them are sort of shepherds for young artists, bringing them, bringing them along, showing them the ropes, show, you know, and this is, a celebration of four of you know Nebraska's top painters, and the interesting thing in this group is they all have their completely different voice. You're not going to get a Chad Olson confused with an Aaron Holtz or a Keith Jacobs Hagen or a Dan Howard, but they all show effective ways in which to uh, lay paint to canvas. Anyway, um, thank you all for coming. I'll let each of the artists say a few words. Um, I'll let you speak for Dan. <laughs> me, me first. Um, well, first of all, um, I graduated from UNL in 2010. And if I remember correctly, that was Keith's last full year teaching. And I think he stayed on a little bit after that to help with uh, grad students as they finished up. And um, Aaron was still pretty new at that point to UNL, and I was one of his uh, first, uh, what they called UCARE student, and uh, he was my mentor and professor for a couple years. So for the first year, I was his studio assistant, and then the second year, he kind of helped mentor me as I did my first show when I was a uh, painter um, at UNL. Um, so I'm very flattered to be in this group. There's a lot of uh, deserving uh, former students and uh, other faculty that have been at UNL that could have definitely been a part of the show, but um, I'm just glad to be here. Um, Aaron and Keith uh, have always been a big advocate for me, and of course, like um, Buck, of course. Um, so I think that's all I have. If you have any questions about specific pieces, feel free to grab me, so thanks. Also, before I forget, um, I want to thank uh, Shelby and Chloe and Isabel and Lou for helping set all of this up, for helping set all of this up and everything you know prepared. It wouldn't happen without them. So thank you for coming out tonight. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a thrill to be showing all together. And I didn't had no idea how it would look. It looks great, Buck. It's a wonderful job. Um, I got here in 2004. Harvey Perlman was the chancellor. Uh, J.B. Milliken was the NU president. It was a great time. It was probably the best time I, you could have had to come in, people who supported the arts. Keith and I worked together for four years, up till 2008, um, and he stayed on for two years. Uh, and um, I, I've got great friends who are throughout all of the community. I can't, I can't name enough of them. Um, 
I've got a daughter who's attending UNL, and she just finished her first year, and uh, I'd never, you know, in 2004, I wouldn't have flashed forward and imagined any of this. Um, but it happens, right? And then here you are. And I have to say that, um, and I've got another daughter who will be a senior at uh, Lincoln High uh, next year and as a soccer player. And, um, and so anyway, I, you do all these things, right? You go to, you, but at the end of the day, or in the morning, you go and you paint, or whatever your art practice is, you, you show up and you paint. And I will say that I've never, and Keith would probably agree, we've never had to recruit uh, painting students. I mean, Lim did come down and meet me, and I said, well, you should come look at the studio and see what other people are doing, and, um, and you'll probably like it. And uh, sure enough, he came down from uh, Metro, and uh, we've had a great year together. We worked uh, last fall, and you know, we've had some students who have done really well. Last year we had, uh, two students, Catherine Weiss, whose mural is in the back, and Phoebe Little, and they were both at Yale at the same time. And um, if you look at the odds for that, they're incredibly slim. Um, so, uh, you know, we've had really good student success, but mainly, like, we've got a great camaraderie amongst each other. And for, for me, Keith, I think, especially teaching the grads for those four years with you was one of the highlights. Um, it was great. So I love the show. I was surprised by it. I've never shown it with Keith or Chad, so it's a first. So thank you, Keith Buck, and thank you to Keith Show Gallery. It's just treat it's a treat. Thanks. Well, I uh, I have four cats and a wife. <laughs> and it's something too. Um, yeah, I got here in sixty eight. I had planned to stay one year. I wanted to get back to Kansas City as fast as I could. And then I discovered the landscape and that kind of slowed me down. And I thought, hmm, you know, this might be a place where I could spend more than a year. Uh, and I could go out to the landscape easily. Uh, it, it, was, it was no big trial to get out into the country in those days. And then the fact faculty was, was a, a very interesting uh, faculty that had a real, uh, what's happening here? Oh, oh I'm seeing, I got you. Okay. Uh, a, a very interesting faculty uh, of, of all different ages and persuasions of ideas and sort of spontaneous emotion during quits and stuff. So that always made things uh, interesting. And, uh, by the time I got here, really, I had become, in my head at least, a painter. Now, that might seem, sound curious, but it, it, um, I'm not sure, I, I, I think that it took me a while to bring that idea that I would be a painter uh, up into my consciousness. Uh, I came from a, a, a solid middle class family. My father was in advertising. I knew artists in Wichita. Uh, and I, I knew artists who taught, uh, and that was a few, but I knew artists who worked in, in uh, art supply stores. I knew artists who did other things in order to make a living. And when I got here, I figured, well, there's a good chance that that might happen to me, especially if I decided I had to bail out of teaching and, and uh, just stay here and paint. So I found this landscape that was similar to Kansas, which is where I'm from. Uh, you can see a real distance if you, if, if you look out there. And you can look up and see the sky on almost any day of the week. It's been particularly interesting in the last few weeks. It's gonna get more interesting tonight. I think we're supposed to have thunderstorms later tonight. Um, and so it, all of this stuff sort of comes together slowly but surely you make, you make friends. My friend David Reed is here, who uh, I've, I've always appreciated. Uh, and and it, 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 was just, it was a nice community of, of people. And they were people who also made me think. Yeah, I demanded of me without it being absolutely clear they were demanding it. That, that they wanted me to have ideas, and they wanted to get ideas uh, as to how I worked and how I thought. Uh, my life has been pretty simple. I mean, I, I, I taught, and then I quit teaching, and now I 
go out to the country. I do go out to the country seven days a week if I feel like it. But if I go to work in the studio, I'll be in the studio for three or four hours, maybe five. Then I start to get itchy, and I start looking outside, and I see some crows flying around, and I think, well, hmm, maybe it's time for me to get out there and look around. Mm -hmm. And today, I was just standing in my driveway, a flock of blackbirds flew over. There must have been eight or ten of them. Very, very low. I mean, I could have thrown a rock. Exciting. I might try painting that. Who knows? You know? uh, so I, I just feed off of sort of what's out there. I feed off of like my friends and their ideas, and uh, and I'll feed off of people who I meet here, who I talk to, uh, and then I'll go back in my studio tomorrow. And tomorrow's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's me. Okay, so what do we do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, the one, the one artist that's not here is Dan. Is uh, is Dan Howard? I mean, when you look, he is sort of the, you know, he's an icon almost down at the university. I mean, he has his office in Richard Hall, uh, Richards Hall. I mean, for generations. I mean, Dan quit teaching, retired. Mm. What, what year? 2008. 2008. 2008. Thanks, Chris. Um, but uh, and but he has maintained the studio at the university, and he's maintained an influence over you know the students that that come through there. Um, he's a sweet guy, and he's and he's a talented painter, and um, wish he could be there. I mean, he. In Dan's artwork, just so you can have an understanding, if you look at the first painting over here, sort of what he will do is he takes an image from something, and he crops it out, and then changes um, the, the orientation. For example, that piece is from his Fashions of the Abstract series from about six years ago, and it's a crop from a magazine, and you have a gentleman that's standing there like this, and Dan being Dan will crop out the head and the rest and then change the orientation and that and that's sort of what he does to uh, turn this into a Dan Howard work. Um, the, everyone's gonna be around here tonight. Um, if you have any questions for any of the artists, just you know grab them and you know they can uh, they can answer and um, thank you all for coming. Um, we have, there are other exhibitions up on the second and third floor. Um, you can see some of Byron's work um, on third. Um, Lim, it was, Lim has a couple of pieces on third. Lim also has an active show at the Assurity Space, um, you know, downtown also. And um, yeah. And Paula has work um, on on third, and she and she is also involved in uh, an exhibition on Nebraska in the water at Gallery fifteen sixteen right now in Omaha as well. Um, and so it's kind of a unique opportunity to kind of bring this pool of talent together. And so I hope you enjoy the evening, and thank you very much. <laughs>